lift the mask mandate in indoor locations uh, by February 28th. So I think all of us are getting tired of wearing masks, that's for sure. Uh, but I have to say, uh, I mean, an enormous compliment to the people of Illinois. We have done such a good job, you have done such a good job of keeping each other safe. We have lots of people who are vulnerable, who are seniors, who, have, uh, who are immunocompromised, uh, and lots of people who don't know that they've got an underlying condition that when they've been hit with COVID-19, it, it devastates them. And, and unfortunately, we've seen many, many people die. Uh, but Illinois has done better than almost every state in the Midwest. In fact, we're better than all of the states around us at keeping people healthy and safe and certainly out of the hospital during this last Omicron wave, in part because people wore their masks. So my intention is, as we've seen these numbers peak at about 7,400 hospitalizations and heading downward significantly, we're now, I think, under 2,500 hospitalization, so that's almost a third of where we were at the peak, uh, and heading even further downward, to uh, lift the mask mandate in indoor locations uh, by February 28th. And uh, that, of course, we still have the sensitive locations of uh, K-12 schools, where we have uh, lots of people who are, you know, joined together in smaller spaces, thousands of people interacting in one location at a time. Uh, and so that's something that will come weeks hence. Uh, but very importantly, things are getting better across the state of Illinois. And that's really a credit to uh, leaders across the state, but, but really to the people of Illinois.